Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm making a video of the textbook Studies in Islam. This book is taught to uh, grade 2 students in the Manarat school system in Saudi Arabia. The purpose for making this video is uh, to refute the myth that hatred against Jews is taught in the Saudi Arabian school systems. So basically I'm going to go quickly through this book. I was thinking of scanning it but then um, I was concerned about the copyright laws so I decided I should just make a quick video so and I've uh, covered the name of my son who is in second grade in Manarat okay so we start with the first page it's written by Malvi Abdulaziz and there's an acknowledgement over here there's an introduction In the same author, he has also written um, the book for the first grade, which my son also attended at Manarat. So, um, there's an introduction about the author. Um, and as you can see through the number, through, through the chapters here, um, we have about 34 chapters and we will, we will try to go through all of them so it starts with Allah is the creator of all things um, it is Allah who created the plants and the fruit giving trees um, and I'm going to I'm trying to quickly um, go through these pages because I made another video and it uh, it was about 22 minutes long so I decided I need to make a shorter video so every ch chapter is followed by um, an activity section and then we go to the second chapter which is Allah is merciful and as you can see that my son he has written um, in the activity section Um, the third chapter is Tawheed, Oneness of Allah. And this is again um, discussing the qualities um, and the attributes of Allah. So basically the accusation um, against um, Saudis is that they teach um, Jews or um, monkeys or pigs in the textbooks and that um, it is taught in textbooks to hate Jews so basically the purpose of this video is to refute that um, this is the second year where my son is um, studying um, studies in Islam at Manarat and I have n not at all come across um, anything related to Jews being monkeys or pigs or um, or any hatred against the West so the fourth chapter Iman faith and then again there's an activity what is Islam and if anybody has any doubts they can always um, put this video in slow motion and see if there is anything related to hatred of Jews so as you can see that the activity section over here um, is empty because it has not been done yet in the class chapter 6 is a Muslim and you can see some qualities over here again I'm trying to go quickly through this because my earlier video did uh, become very long write a paragraph on the qualities of a good Muslim the five pillars of Islam Shahada, Salah, Zakat, Psalm and Hajj again an activity section following that 
cleanliness. A Muslim must be clean. Why is it good to be clean? How should a Muslim keep himself clean? He should burn or bury his rubbish and not leave it to blow around on to other people's property or on the road. Some questions. So we come to chapter 6, which is the Islamic etiquette, going to the toilet, and there are a uh, number of um, prayers or, um, that can be uttered while, you know, going into the toilet, coming out of the toilet. And again, you, uh, anybody who is interested to uh, look at more detail uh, in these pages can go through these in a slow motion. We, ha we go to the mosque. Um, so once again, the purpose of uh, scanning uh, with this video through this book is to refute the myth that Saudi textbooks in Islamic studies teach hatred of Jews. So I can't speak for anybody else, but I know for my school, my son doesn't hate, doesn't learn any hatred of Jews. In fact, Jews are not mentioned at all in this textbook. So this is a chapter about daily prayers, uh, the azan, which is the call to prayer, activity, wudu, which would be the ablution, which is getting ready for prayers. Uh, this, this discusses the method, how you would do that. And now there's a surah, which is a chapter of the Quran. It's called Surah Al-Masad. And um, the activity here is to learn the surah by heart. Uh, there's Surah Al-Ma'un, learn the surah by heart. Punctuality and promptness. Uh, what is punctuality? Um, and then there's a story about a boy who was always late. Um, and you can see the boy's name is Osama, which I hope does not create any red alert in anybody's mind. We are not discussing Osama bin Laden, we are just discussing a boy named Osama. And Osama is a very common name um, in the Arabic culture. So um, so this guy, this boy was always laid and it discusses the moral of the story. Um, and then um, the need for punctuality. Um, let's see. No Jews yet, no Jews being monkeys or pigs yet. Okay, telling the truth and keeping promises. And then this one has a story about a boy who cried wolf. It is very important to be truthful and to keep promises. Nobody li believes a liar. You know, a common accusation raised against Muslims is that uh, they practice takya, which is they deceive people by, I don't know, pretensions and stuff. So, um, as you can see that this chapter discussing discusses how important it is to say the truth. It says, oh, oh, you, oh, you who believe, why do you say one thing and do another? It is most loathsome in the sight of Allah that you may say what you do not do. So, this is to this totally um, contradicts the acquisition of takia that um, most Islamophobes they um, uh, they accuse Muslims of that. Um, let's see, we have some questions here. Uh, what is the meaning of the name Al Amin, and why was it given to the Prophet? So Al Amin was a person means a person who speaks the truth and who is honest. So our Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, was given the. Um, he was given the um, title of Al-Amin. Now, this we come to the pro uh, chapter 18, which discusses Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in which year he was born, and what happened with the Meccans and uh, the early resistance to Islam. Um, and again, you can scan through slowly if you are very paranoid and if you think that I've missed something. Uh, I'm just trying to go s quickly so that. Um, my video is not too long. Um, let's see. Okay, so these are some activity questions. Fill in the blanks. Then we go to chapter 19, which is again Prophet Muhammad II. Um, it's, it's discussing his. Um, this discusses his foster mother Halima, who um, who who nursed him. 
so he, um, Banu Saad is the tribe uh, uh, to which Halima belonged to. Um, and then, okay, so then we have the activity section uh, for this chapter, who was Halima. We go to chapter 20, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 3. Mm, and basically this discusses his grandfather and his uncle who raised him after his mother died. And I have not seen the word Jew here, I mean, at all. Uh, when did Amna take Muhammad to Medina? Again, there were some questions. Um, and I'm going to go quickly through that again because I don't want the video to be too long. So taught our Prophet Muhammad, and these are some of the lessons that our Prophet Muhammad taught us how we should live in the world. He taught us by what he did, he taught us by what he said. Say what is true, even if it is better. Uh, he's not a true Muslim who eats his fill and keeps his neighbor hungry. Um, this discusses the, pro the importance of uh, uh, a mother, and then these are the this is the activity section. Now the chapter twenty second is Surah Al Takasur, and the activity is to learn the surah by heart. Islamic manners, greeting and salutations. Um, Muslims greet each other with Assalamu Alaikum, and then the other person says Wa Alaikum Assalam, which basically means peace be upon you, and Wa Alaikum Assalam means and on you be peace. And a better uh, salutation would be Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu And upon you also be peace and mercy of Allah and His blessings. Uh, so this discusses um, common etiquettes while when Muslims um, shake hands or when visiting a Muslim's house. It basically tells you that if you do not hear an answer um, the third time you should not you should not enter the home. Greeting a Muslim when he sneezes and again, I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm just trying to go quickly through this so that we are able to cover this in a short amount of time. Adam, the first man, uh, Allah describes in the Quran how he created the first man out of clay and gave him his shape and nature. So this discusses Adam and this also discusses Iblis, who is the shaitan or who is the devil. And um, this discusses the story of uh, how the shaitan misled Adam. Um, people, Christians called him, him Adam, we called him Adam. There's an activity section. Uh, chapter 25, the Prophet Isa ibn Maryam, and Isa ibn Maryam is Jesus, son of Mary. Um, this is a story about Isa. Everything about Isa was extraordinary. Um, let's see. And on Isa, uh, God um, God gave him the book um, called Injil, which is also called Bible in English. We call it Injil. And then there are questions regarding Isa. We have the Surah Surah Al Quraysh, which is chapter 22nd, and the activity is to learn the Surah by heart. We have Surah Al Fil, which is um, again okay, chapter 27, learn the Surah by heart. Surah Ashar, um, which is um, chapter 28, learn, this, learn the Surah by heart. And learning by heart is basically called Hifs, um, Hifs in Arabic and in Urdu. Um, and actually at this time my son he's also uh, mashallah inshallah trying to hift the Quran so he's trying to memorize the Quran uh, chapter 29 is zakah which is uh, the pillar of Islam which is charity um, and then it asks some questions about um, who should pay zakah there are two names for it it's called zakah in Arabic and in Urdu we call it zakat okay psalm it's just which is fasting which is again a very important pillar of Islam Muslims fast during Ramadan and this chapter discusses that so we have reached chapter 31 which is Hajj which is the greater pilgrimage um, Umrah is the smaller pilgrimage um, 
and actually it just discusses some detail about Hajj and then it asks some questions about Hajj and Tawaf and Sa'i and Plane of Arafat which are all concepts related to Hajj. The 32nd chapter is Islamic manners when eating and sleeping. What should you do before eating? What should you do before uh, while eating? Um, so this chapter discusses that it's, it's not good for a Muslim to belch in public. Okay, so after eating, a Muslim should say this prayer. Um, sleeping, people, a Muslim should go to bed early. See, it also says memorize the du'as. Du'as are the prayers mentioned in this lesson and practice them in your daily life. Surah Al-Qadr, activity like this way by heart. Taking good children as friends and avoiding bad company. This chapter is about um, um, the Prophet's instructions that people should be friends with good people. And again, it doesn't say anything about the Jews or to avoid Jews because they are supposedly monkeys or pigs or something like that. Um, it just says be friends with good people. questions regarding that and now we are nearing the end actually we have reached the end and then concerning the author uh, it's basically a little bit deep uh, a little bit um, about his uh, education so studies in Islam grades KG to 12 um, yeah, so um, in first grade my study my son studied studies in Islam grade one and now he's studying grade two and So this book was uh, is being taught by Manarat International Schools in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia and As we have seen that we have gone completely through this book and there is no mention about Jews or there's no mention about Jews being pigs or apes or monkeys and uh, there's no there's no um there's no instruction about hating jews or about hating the west so this ends my video assalamu alaikum